one of our greatest, one of our greatest leaders of all. Wow. A general that's in an army, General Custer. And of course, we know he got killed by Big Horn, but he was one of the leaders of the Leo Scout. But a lot of troops, probably back in the days, the uh, you know, back in the uh, cavalry days, had a lot of respect for Colonel George Custer. For what he done, for him being who he was, for the cavalry. So verse 51, go to verse 52. In the man of Israel, and Geo rose and shouted and pursued the Philistine until thou come to the valley to the gate of Akron, Akron. And the ruler of the Philistine fell down by the way to Shaphon, even unto God, and unto Akron. They were pleased, they were shouting victory. Man, can you imagine somebody on our side won? Can you imagine somebody on the San Antonio Spurs was thinking of death when they said, good job for blocking the brown chains. The coach was proud. They might as well say, whoever was on David's side of the fence, they were probably raising him up high as the sky himself for what he done. Victory, victory, victory. Can you imagine how David felt when he beat the giant? Overwhelmed, surprised himself. Wow, I wish I was there to see it. So, as time went on, and the children of Israel returned from Jesus after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his arm in his tent. I'm sure he kept the arm and that the uh, people that he was supposed to go for to fight for. I'm sure they didn't keep it. They let him keep it for a reminder of what you got. David had to keep, David took the, the head. He had to take it to the king. He had to prove to the king. This is what I did. This is what I did. So, I can imagine how the king felt when this young man, this shepherd boy, who killed this giant who was nine foot tall, took his head and looked at it. Static was the people of Israel. God answered their prayer. They were praying for a miracle. We're praying right now, aren't we, church, for God to do something? Yeah. Keep on praying, it's going to happen. So, as time went on, verse 55, and when David saw, and when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he sent Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, as I saw this, okay, I cannot tell. Actually, it wasn't, might as well say, you know, Jesse, I'm not so sure if Jesse was David's real father. Can I know about that? As time went on, that's a good question. Who was David's real dad? Right now, his real dad was Jesus. His real dad was God. That's who. My dad's passed away. But I still remember my dad. Drexel Lee Penn. And this awesome. He's passed away. Now that he's gone, my father is Jesus Christ. And the king said, Inquire thou the son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. A reward. A reward. The king had to be proud. I can imagine what the king gave to David. His daughter, the riches, even the land. Maybe the king, the property. Whatever David wanted, whatever the king had, that was 
statements from the king. And Saul said, 